All right, things are working out fine. We're getting closer to the end, y'all. So close. And, you know, week 15 of the NFL season was an interesting one, to say the least. Let me tell you. Um, first of all, the last Thursday night football game of the season was the Ravens and the Jets, and the Ravens just absolutely destroyed the Jets, 42-21. to Lamar Jackson is getting closer and closer to winning the NFL's MVP honor. I mean, it's it's crazy to think. I mean, you know, man. Um, the Bears, Bears are, you know, after, you know, after beating the Cowboys so easily, they get, they basically get steamrolled by the Packers. And thus, the Bears, get out of here. You are no longer in playoff consideration. No longer. Get out. You're eliminated. Patriots, they easily lock up a playoff spot. All they had to do was beat the Bengals, and they did so easily. Seahawks, they're going to the playoffs, too. They beat the Panthers 30-24. to um, This Now, this next game right here, uh, the Texans and the Titans was a very good game. Let me tell you. Uh, came down to it came down to just who wanted it more and the Texans got it done at the at the very end of the game uh, but these two teams will meet again in two weeks time who knows it could be for the division title um, it, it just depends on how things work out this week which we'll talk about in a moment um, but you know um, the Texans, are getting a lot closer to a playoff spot themselves, you know, and it's all good. It's all good. Giants, Dogs, nobody really cares. I mean, Eli Manning went off. Could be his last game mm. at MetLife. Mm. Could be his last game at MetLife. Um, the Eagles, they beat the Redskins 37-27. They're setting up for a showdown with the Boas next week. Um Chiefs, they get a playoff spot. Well, they are already they already got a playoff spot. But that eliminates the Broncos from the thick of things. Buccaneers, Lions, doesn't really matter. You know, the wishy washiness of Jameis Winston is, you know, it, it's interesting to say the least. Um, the Browns may be out themselves. Um, they get beat by the Cardinals 38 24. I don't know where in the world this came from at all. But you know, the cards came in, did what they needed to do, and they get their fourth victory of the season. Crazy, right? Crazy. Um, in the last game, probably in Oakland Coliseum, uh, the Jags, they beat the Raiders. <laughs> it's actually quite funny. 20-16, um, you've got fans going crazy out there. you got fans throwing bottles and stuff like that all over the place. It was crazy, crazy times. Crazy times were um, what happened. And crazy times may just continue, to be completely honest with you. <clears throat> but this should put the Raiders out of the hunt for a playoff spot themselves as well. Um, so along with the Browns, um, obviously there's another playoff team down the line we'll have to talk about um, with pl another game with playoff implications in a few minutes anyway. Um, but they... But the Jags, they did what they needed to do. They got the W, and they pushed the Raiders closer to being out of the playoff picture. I mean, it's very unlikely, so we might as well just eliminate them now. Uh, Vikings, they they essentially locked up a playoff spot because of what happened to the Rams. Um, they be, the Vikings beat the Chargers, and the Cowboys s cement themselves to get to get themselves closer to an NFC East title. Um, so the Vikings, they beat the Chargers rather easily. Chargers had seven turnovers in that game. Seven. Just sad. Um, and, and the Cowboys, they, they, beat the, they beat the Rams 44-21. What an offensive performance. Where was this all season <laughs> as a fan? Where was this all season long? <laughs> I mean, come on. Uh, but, yeah, the Vikings are closer to a playoff spot. They've got 10 wins. The Rams only have eight. I'm sitting here thinking Rams are probably not going to make it to the postseason. They're, they're just probably not. Um, they'd have to have the Vikings lose twice. And I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, 
Falcons surprisingly beat the 49ers now. Um, there was some ref ball at the very end of this game where it was like, oh, okay, well, this was a touchdown at first, but then Falcons came right back, got a touchdown. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. 49ers got to be hitting themselves on the head right now because, I mean, you, you can't you can't lose that game. Now the Seahawks are probably the number one seed again. Um, so, you know, 49ers got they got to fix it. They got to fix um, their offense at, at times. You know, at times it's like, oh, well, the offense could go off for a 48-point performance. At other times it could – lay a goose egg to the Falcons. Uh, that's just the way it's been, you know. Um, but in an ugly game on Sunday night, uh, the Bills lock up a playoff spot. Crazy, right? Tenth win season for the Buffalo Bills. Um, but they beat Duck Hodges and the Steelers in a dogfight. What a game that was. Lots of turnovers, crazy stuff. I mean, uh, it, it was just a wild, wild game. Um, and finally, of course, um, the Colts, they are basically out of the playoff hunt themselves. Um, they, they're not going, they're probably not going to the playoffs. They're out. Um, actually, I think they are limited, but no, it doesn't really matter because they got blown out anyway by the Saints and Drew Brees continues to break records on Monday night football. You know, he has over 540 touchdown passes now eclipsing Peyton Manning's record, and he's definitely in front of Tom Brady right now. Um, but this week really kind of just showed us um, that um, that the, um, the, 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 the that you know you mean you know you 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 have the haves and you have the have nots. Um, the haves are getting closer. There's only a few playoff spots left to be locked up. Um, the NFC, we got the Packers that have clinched, the Seahawks have clinched, the 49ers have clinched, um, the Saints have clinched the playoff spot. It's just the wild card spot and the NFC East. The NFC East will be decided next week. Um, and over in the AFC, Buffalo's got a playoff spot. Kansas City's got a playoff spot. Um, New England's got a playoff spot. And the Ravens have the number one seed right now. So all we need is another wild card, and it's only coming down to two teams for the wild card. For that, uh, it'll be the, it'll either be Pittsburgh, uh, Tennessee, or Houston. That will be the wild card. The AFC South will either be Tennessee or Houston. So one of those three is getting that wild card. Well, obviously Pittsburgh's not one of the AFC South, but you know, one of those two teams could potentially, you know. Steal Pittsburgh spot in the playoffs if they're not lucky. <sighs> so, uh, there's only a few things left that need to be handled. Eight of 12 spots have been locked up, and week 15 was an interesting ride, you know? <laughs> it was interesting, let me tell you. Uh, I don't, I don't even. I don't even know, man. <laughs> but yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. We'll talk about week sixteen in a moment. Um, y'all, y'all stick around. Shout out to the fortieth person who has subscribed to this channel. You are the real MVP, and for the other thirty nine of you, you are also the real MVP. You guys keep this channel going. 